Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are doing a, a massive uh, level five hoard. Here in bottles. Uh. Everything is new, but it's damaged by the rats. There's a whole reptile room. Looks like they were mostly snakes. So sometimes during these cleanouts, we find things that are disturbing. Is a gun, is a gun safe in there? Oh. These boxes are all empty. It doesn't look like it's a real gun. Is that one loaded? Is that loaded? Nope. Here she comes! Oh my gosh. 2016. Oh my god. Four of them! Five of them! Oh! Oh my god. So here we are, uh, day three of a level five hoard. Uh, we've got a couple additional people here today. Um, we have a five days uh, to get this completed, so we're kind of getting on the downside of it. Finding a, an awful lot of rodents, and then you know, we're starting to get them all cornered, and we've got rodents jumping out of closets and running across our feet uh, this morning. So that's where we're at. So today, what we're hoping to be done with is a majority of removing the trash from the home. Uh, we still have to go through some of the kitchen uh, cabinets and get all the food and stuff out of the uh, the pantries and, and things like that and underneath the sinks. Kind of missed it this morning. There was big cheers in there. I think about every trap they set out, they caught something. We're still trying to decide if we're going to need an exterminator or not. You know, they just keep seem to keep popping out of things. Yeah. Definitely quite a surprise seeing the rats all jumping around and definitely a very big surprise as to how messy this could be. Would you do this again? Would you do... Oh yeah, absolutely. I got no problem doing this again absolutely because i can see that the uh, long-term effects is definitely helping somebody out in the end you know helping them get back to square one is to get rid of the the largest problem that they seem to have here so oh there's rat shit in the camera there's rat shit in everything man <laughs> here it comes coming your way i think it splits right here oh it oh that oh hey now i'm seeing things rats <laughs> is every yes they're everywhere Oh, hey, oh, he's a cutie. One with the desk leg, I picked it up and dropped it on Bam, there was a, a hole. That, uh, in the corner over here, I heard them. They started running behind the desk one at a time. And oh, they went from this big, yeah. probably two inches long, to four inches long, to six, to there was a couple of sizes of a house cat. Actually, it's probably the cleanest, cleanest closet in the house. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, shit. Something moved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm getting out of this web. Are you guys going to watch? Jesus. Oh. All righty. Uh, nice slices. Already been uh, rodent ridden. Look at that. Whole thing, a cup of noodles, or a uh, oh, box of cup of noodles. Very through that, huh? Look at that, nothing left in the Quaker Oats box. That's right, Brandon. I knew I was in trouble when this cup was hanging out of there and that was going to be a mess in there. Oh my god. If you want to look up though. That's a fresh one. It's <laughs> good? Yeah. I'm so oh, there's a line! Watch out, here it comes! Yeah. Go in, go in the closet! Here comes here another one! one. Oh, here goes another one! Oh, four of them! Five of them! Ah. Two more. Oh, oh, oh my god! Hey! Oh, there goes two more! Woo! These glasses I've been looking for for years. <laughs> I found them. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like oh, some yeah. jewelry mirror yeah. trays and stuff. Oh. So the termite damage? That's all termite damage. Oh. See that? You know, of course, they have to have a 
for my professional to come in, this house will probably be tented. But it's interesting how they got into the interior like that. That is coming up. Come on, another one? Oh, there's Wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look! There's a skeleton in here. Looks like we're missing a, a human, but we found a skeleton. Well, and I'm pretty sure it's got a bunch of our little furry friends in here, though. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Hiding yeah, about. This is a great place to live, right here. Look at that. Ooh. Stalking your friends? Steak and oh, friends. Steak and friends. <laughs> what was I saying? What? <laughs> stalking? I thought it said stalking your friends. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I think a ribeye steak sounds pretty good hey, today, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got a big bowl. What? Oh, sweet. There's giant balls. I'm afraid uh, this beautiful new TV could be uh, damaged by the rats that obviously live inside there. Are you ready? All right. That's, that's good. So it says probably one of the worst. They, they had one or two stories they can compare this to that uh, one was in Miami, but uh, I mean, it's really the, the challenge is it could take a month or so of traps and and poison but you know they're going to run they're, you're going to have dead rats in the walls we yeah. know we got runways and then they're going to stink then they're going to get you know maggots and things of this okay. nature and uh, uh the other thing would be this is to the level that they would uh, uh that they would gas the home mm -hmm. um, but then they're all dead mm -hmm. where they lay uh in yeah. your attic in your walls uh mm -hmm. which is you know not a not wow. a pleasant smell and it's not a good solution so he's gonna process it come back with some thoughts and suggestions but wow. you know obviously the the key here is, is what should be done is uh these this drywall removed in many many places and cleaned out on the inside and, and or just uh -huh. reconstructed yep. so. yeah oh my god where in between these books, you have to, oh, you have to get right where I am. Yeah, I've seen them. But I think if I take the book and give it a good fucking pinch, I can probably get five or six at one time. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, good touch. Got one. Oh, jeez. Look at two of them. Oh, some jumpers. Got another one. Oh, here you are. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. There's an infinite amount. Oh, he's out. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and there he goes. Wow. Got you can see his tail. tail. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're now into the garage where we have a second refrigerator and a freezer. So the direction is empty these out as well. So these I, I have not looked in. Uh, let's see what's in this one. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of food. Wow. 2016. Oh my gosh. There's some rice in there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what the hell, right? What was it? Oh! I have no idea. Yeah, all over me. Don't lean on the door. All right, there you go. What door? Hey, that was like a wall. <laughs> it's like playground sand. I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. How about appliances? Like the microwave, the blender. The microwave, throw it away. Okay. Oh my God, Becky. Ugh. How are your nipples? Are they better? Yeah, yeah I, got, no. I, got, I got duct tape on today with my bandage underneath. <laughs> They put band-aids on there, they're yeah, on fire. I, got glue traps. I need a bra or something. Woo. That's not the best. Now it's my size, my belly, and my right here. And my arms, if they, if they welt up, I don't know. I might, I might be allergic to that material or something. Oh, God. No, I think it's just a bunch of trash. 
There's a bunch of trash in there. You guys are brave. Oh my god, is this spinach? That's super green. They're pretty super alright. Soupy. Soupy. Oh boy. Yeah, but I couldn't even begin to tell you what it is. Anybody for some mild salsa, maybe? Well, I don't know, some kind of rot dropping on it. Yeah. You know this is pretty old when it swells up, the plastic swells up like this. It's a lot of gases inside of that. Sell by, I think that's 2018. October 30th, 2019. It's not too bad. Oh my, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like cat litter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Let me show you in here. Oh, wow. Hey, give me a phone. Come on, see if it has a lot I don't know what it is. So end of day three. Really, really pleased where we're at. Well, the homeowner actually just came, but I know she's very, very excited about the, uh, you can kind of see the garden in the, in the back and you'll see the before pictures and I mean, just, just what a difference. And I know she's had this vision for years and just, uh, you know, just never executed on it. So uh, we're real, real happy for that. We also had a meeting today with a uh, pest control uh, company come in. We had their termite expert and their rodent expert. Look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. We are going to the Calusa Nature Center to donate all of our uh, reptile terrariums. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.